Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the age lookup function, which is pretty similar and uh, in the whole family and bunch of the lookup functions, but this is going a little bit differently as the VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUP is VLOOKUP because of vertical lookup, it means that the lookup value uh, is looked up vertically, so in a column. In this case, the age lookup, it's age lookup because it's horizontally, meaning that the lookup value is looked up in a horizontal way. Let me give you an example and what we are going to use. The same, uh, what we have here, the same database, GDP database. And for example, we'd like to kind of have it in a different way. So not going for the demand IDs or going for the countries, but we have a country, let's say, I don't know, let's put not Austria, then in this case, Australia. And we'd like to know in Australia which of the years uh, it had a GDP of X. So this is what we are looking after. And therefore we'd like to use age lookup in a way that the lookup value is going to be the years. Of course this is maybe not the best example from data point database point of view. But the point is anyways of this video to learn how the age lookup uh, value consists of and why you should use it and so on and so on. So what we can do here in this age lookup value is to put here the lookup value. You remember this is a this is the this is a number. Therefore, you don't need a code sign. Let's say the 2000 because we are looking for the GDP value of Australia in 2000. Then you have to select the data set as well, which can be actually from all the others. The point is to have it the years as well. So we can just select let's say all of them. And then we'd like to have the row index number. Of course, in this case, the first row, it always needs to be the first row, the one where the looked up, looked up value uh, is, is placed. So it means this is the first one. And then you can first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on and so on. So we are going for the 12th, actually 12th row, where we'd like to get the data from. So 12, put there 0 to have exact match, click enter, and then you will have, put here on this comma little thing, and then uh, you will see actually the, what is the total number, You this is a thousand separators are there, and that's for it's easier to, to check it. So we can see that in 2000s, we had this, uh, I don't know, 415 billions of dollars of GDP, uh, or of, or growth which was uh, actually produced in the country in 2000. So this is how the age lookup value looks. We need an age lookup value which in this case is not going to be in the column but in the row and uh, it's kind of a similar than a VLOOKUP but it's used a little bit differently. So uh, this is for this is about the age lookup. What I would like to some pros and cons is pretty similar what you could have seen in, in my other videos regarding VLOOKUP. It's actually easy to use. It can handle like huge databases. Uh, it can collect data from all the base so you can extract this data and even you can just one more plus you can combine it with other let's say buttons or with other formulas in Excel and then it will be pretty much automatized. Uh, however, there are some downsides as well. Here, first of all, the reference formula, you always have to fix it if you don't want the, the table array to move and then it will give you wrong data, wrong result. It always looks for the first match, so if it's about year, if it's not about years, let's say, then or something which can be uh, repeated, then it always goes for the first one. In case of not case sensitive, it's actually regarding not, not of the years, but if you're looking for letters and then it's like capital or small letters, it doesn't care, it just go for it and, and it's the same for the age lookup value. So that's a cons. And then it's manual, manuality, I meant that in this case you have to kind of count the, the rows, what we wanted here in the 2000s, so you had to go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, and so on, and so on, and count it till the 12th. Although you can automatize it by, by inserting one more column, let's say with the, uh, with the numbers, and then you can just refer to that, drag it down, but in this case don't forget to press F4, and then it will be fixed to table array and it's not going to be moved. So these are actually the pros and cons. I would pretty much propose to use it. It's really, uh, really easy to use and it's pretty useful. Have fun.